to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is part of the September Look for Less Challenge that is hosted every month by Yami at the Latina Next Door. And each month she chooses a co-host. This month's co-host is Corey from Desert DIY. I will put the links to both of their channels in the description box below, so be sure to head over to their channels and check them out after watching this video. And I will also put the link to the September Look for Less playlist in the description box so that you can watch all of the videos that will be added to that playlist as well. So this month for the Look for Less challenge, I have a really simple project for you. It is something that is great for fall. You could change it up to make it for uh, year round decor and I will kind of talk about that as I am making this. but. I'm excited to bring this project to you because it is very simple and can be put together in probably under an hour. So um, let's jump in and get started. My inspiration for this piece is this natural wooden pumpkin from the Kirkland's website and it is $35. To make this, I'm going to be using this Bandit Wood Veneer Edging. It is a pre-glued iron-on edging that I picked up at Lowe's for about $7. And just because I already had these on hand, I'm going to be using one of these little sticks from Dollar Tree as the stem of my pumpkin, but you could totally use a stick from your yard. And I'll be using a little bit of this white and green berry garland that is also from Dollar Tree. I will be using my iron set on the cotton setting for the veneer edging and I'll also be using some scissors and a ruler and my hot glue gun. For the first step I will be taking the wood veneer edging and I am going to cut eight pieces that are 24 inches long. Then I'm going to take two pieces and put them together with the adhesive sides facing together on the inside. And I decided to put a towel down just to help protect my work surface from the hot iron. And I did find it is easiest if you kind of weight down that other end because it wants to curl up. And then I'm going to take the iron and just press these together and it doesn't take very long just to seal them together. And once they are stuck together, the wood edging will be pliable and while it's warm. And so you want to take it and form it into a circle while it is still warm and then hold it in place while it cools. This just takes a minute or so and then it will hold its shape. And then you'll repeat this process for all of the pieces that we cut so that you end up with four circles. Next I'm going to take one of the circles. I am going to overlap the ends just about an inch or so and hot glue this together and hold it in place till it's set. I didn't glue all four circles at once before I started assembling this because I wanted to be able to adjust them while I'm assembling my pumpkin if necessary. So I'm going to take two of my circles and place one inside the other with the seam edges at the bottom and I'm just making sure that they are perpendicular to each other and that it all looks even and then I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue at the intersections to glue it together. Then I'm going to take my third piece and make sure it just fits in there nice and snug and I'll glue the ends together and then glue it inside those two first pieces that I've already glued together. So as you can see the lights just went out in my craft room and that is because I had to go out in the driveway and meet the tow truck guy because I have to stop here and give a shout out and say thank you to God because he protected me on my way home from work tonight. 
I was really close to home and a truck turned onto the road and a big rock fell out of the truck right in front of my car and there was nothing I could do except hit it and it actually broke my radiator and all of the coolant came out and I think some other things under my car probably broken or damaged so um, but I was safe and so thank you to God for protecting me it could have been so much worse and I am just thankful that I am here to do this DIY video and share it with you so let's get back to it and now I'm going to finish putting the pumpkin together and again I'm taking that last piece and before I glue it into a circle I'm just making sure that it fits right and kind of measuring how much I need to overlap so that it fits snug but it isn't too big or too small then I'm going to glue those ends together and then glue it into the pumpkin. Now as you can see it doesn't want to stand up straight it wants to kind of lay over on its side so I'm going to take just a little piece of this paint stir stick that I had left over from some other project and I am going to just cut a piece of that big enough to put on the bottom just as a little stand to make it stand up straight And I'm going to use my miter box and saw just to cut this and this is a really easy uh, way to do it. This is a great tool for doing crafts like this so I highly recommend having one of these. The link to it and some of my other favorite crafting tools are in the description box below. I'm just going to attach the pumpkin to the little wood stand with some hot glue. Next I'm going to find one of these wood pieces that I think will look good as a stem and I think they're a little bit long so I am going to use my miter box and saw and cut it down a little bit as well. Then again using a little hot glue just glue that to the top of the pumpkin. Now I'm going to take some of that berry garland from Dollar Tree and just wrap some around the stem and twist it and make it look like those little vines that you see on pumpkins. So I'm really loving this pumpkin but I think you could use this same technique to make several other types of lanterns too like this white wood open frame lantern also from Kirkland's they want $76.50 for I think we could do this using the same veneer edging and also this black wood lantern so if you would like to see me do DIYs of these lanterns let me know in the comments and I'll give it a try so I did add a little bit of hot glue on that berry garland just to help hold it in place and you can add as little or as much of this as you want it's just kind of your personal preference but I really think this is cute and a great finishing touch for this pumpkin and then you can add a Dollar Tree LED candle to this and it just makes a really cute fall lantern and obviously for safety reasons do not use a real candle because this is made of wood so it is flammable but I really love how my pumpkin came out and the Kirkland's one was $35 mine only $5 because I am able to make a second pumpkin about half the size using the supplies that I already have as well I hope you enjoyed this project if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel to grow and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would love to have you stick around for more DIY projects on a budget and so hit that subscribe button and also the bell and set your notifications so YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a blessed day